it was a shock coming to Clarion. Coming from a very urban area that was composed of mostly people of color all of my life. My first day there, we're driving and all I see is cows and chickens. The initial culture shock was absolutely real. And I remember going into Near Hall and thinking to myself, where in the heck is my mom dropping me off at? <laughs> but, you know, moving forward later on in my academic career, I was able to build that global intercultural fluency. Sometimes being the only African American student in my classroom sort of forced me to speak and communicate with individuals who had different ideas, different customs. Being the president for the Black Student Union for a long time when I was there, um, opened doors and avenues that allowed me to work with people at a different capacity than being in the classroom. I cannot remember for the life of me which internship I had, but I do remember it was a community-based organization, and we actually went into the homes of these families. So it was, once again, a culture shock, realizing that low income social economic statuses existed everywhere. So being able to help those individuals navigate their problems through communicating with them, through sharing stories, um, was very helpful for me. The first part of your career management will really probably focus on your exploration, right? You may not know what you want to do. Finish exploring, finish learning who you are in those years, that's what you're supposed to do. But then you'll probably travel down a road and get into learning about professional documents, resumes, cover letters, um, and how to perfect those. But I will say you have to be proactive in that. You have a career services full of wonderful staff that are dedicated to helping you transition from being a college student to being a professional. Make it a point to stop in once a month. Another piece is networking. In college, you network everywhere you go. You network in your classrooms, in your, so, your student organizations, with your professors, your staff. You'll find the value of it once you're actually in that job hunt and you realize, okay, my resume is great, my cover letter is great, but I don't know anyone in any of these industries that I'm trying to break into that can possibly help me put my foot in the door. As a first year student, I cannot overemphasize the importance of being in tune with your email. My professors were abdomen about, hey, listen, I'm gonna send this assignment through email, not D2L, and if you don't check your email, you're not going to get it. Even now, it's beneficial as a professional. That's the way we communicate. What I believe critical thinking is, um, being able to analyze information and then use it. I think it starts with listening and being aware that you are in a new situation and things are going to come up. Being a student at Clarion, first generation, low income, student of color was a huge problem for me at times. Sometimes things seem a little bit too big, right? Like, I'm just starting out college and you want me to solve what? <laughs> right? But not being afraid to go feet first and say, okay, I listened to what you were saying, I don't understand it. And I'm not going to shy away from it. I'm going to be more proactive in trying to solve that problem. Ask for help or ask for clarification on things that you do not understand and not being afraid to. You are in a new environment. Like no one wants to be the new kid that has all, that has all the questions, right? But in order to develop those critical thinking skills and problem solving skills, you have to be able to say, I don't understand that.